Residents of Sapley Road beside Heritage Bank and Everance were shocked on Tuesday morning to see the lifeless body of a young man inside the transformer. Some residents wondered what the lifeless young man was doing inside the transformer before he was electrocuted. According to some of the residents, the suspected vandal met his Waterloo while trying to vandalize the transformer serving the area. They appealed to BEDC to ensure there is regular power supply to serve as deterrent to vandals. What this uh, people is doing is very bad. We are very, very happy for this, this incident. The God Almighty will be punishing them. Because as we did so see, there will, will be no be able to have light now. Once there's light, the road will be still in. So we thank God for the what happened today. So Nepal will give us light always. See, like what we just experienced is the hardship of the country, as you can see. But then it's not a license for him to have done this. And it's instant judgment. According to the Bible, it says that shall not steal. But he has gone to steal now. He has met with his destiny. Probably that's the way he chose to live, and that's the way he chose to live. So, let him bear the cross. Some of the residents in the area called on the relevant authorities to remove the body of the suspected vandal and restore power to the area. Jonah Omowa, ITV News.